thank you, Atlanta, for sending to the United States Congress, Lucy McBath. We have a better chance than ever to fulfill the vision that Dr. King talked about because Lucy McBath is in the United States Congress. And as dark as it may seem in our great country, what you did in November of 2018, when you moved your feet from the town squares to the town halls and you followed the calling of Dr. King to march on the ballot boxes, Atlanta, you helped us save America. And the sun is beginning to rise again in our country. But I know why you're here. Because you know we are not fully free. Do you think we are fully free? No. Are we fully free no. if tax cuts only go to the top floor of every building while every worker on every floor below toils away and works hard so that the rich get richer and the rest of us just run in place? Are we totally free if that's the case? No. Are you totally free if your paychecks are beaten, eaten up by health care costs? Or would you be more free if once and for all in America as Dr. King called upon us to do, that we had a health care guarantee. That every man, woman, and child, no matter who you are, where you come from, that you have a guarantee of health care. Would we be more free if every child in America was able to go to school and learn without fear, go home after class, and that we told them that their right to live is greater than any other right in the Constitution. That is the number one right. Would we be more free if we had background checks in our communities on every firearm purchase? And would we be more free if the justice system in America treated a young black man the same way that it treated a young white man? Black lives matter, and until they matter, we are not more free. And would we be more free if our democracy empowered you rather than corporate special interests? Atlanta, we have to take dirty money and dirty maps out of our politics. So on this Martin Luther King weekend, I want to tell you, because Dr. Bernice King reminded us at the service today that Dr. King was a devout follower of the Lord. And the Lord told us that blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. We are not yet worthy of that crown. We have more miles to walk, more town halls to storm, and more ballot boxes to march on. Are you ready to do that, Atlanta? And one day when we achieve that equality and opportunity and security for every kid in America, we will wear those crowns of life. But for now, let's keep marching, let's keep living, and let's keep loving. God bless you, Atlanta. Thank you so much. And God bless Dr. Martin Luther King.